Late last year, the Regional Assembly rejected a report by the Committee on Accounts which cited gross mismanagement of East African community funds by the officials of the committee. The committee was then directed to revise the report, naming and shaming the alleged corrupt officials. During the Assembly sitting in Arusha, Tanzania, the committee retabled the report naming the officials. Among those named include a Ugandan who is retired from the service of the community. Council should institute disciplinary action for negligence of duty to the following uh, officers. The former Deputy Secretary General. Earlier, the lawmakers expressed mixed feelings as to whether the chairperson of the committee should directly name the alleged officials accused of gross mismanagement of funds. And uh, it might bring some issues even with the members who, are, who will be affected, their families. They might even go to court. And in my view, if they didn't have an opportunity for hearing, then we don't mention the, the names. But if they had an opportunity, I think we go by the resolution. Uganda's representatives Mary Mojenyi and Dennis Namara backed the move to name and shame those accused of stealing and mismanaging ESC funds. I think that it is important for us to set a precedent. I mean, the concern is how do we make sure that people fear to do wrong things. That because the other report was toothless, it was not biting. And we were given clear instructions that we want this report to mention the people who are capable. So we followed the Ayala Powers and Privileges Act. We followed the whereby a council committee has powers of the High Court in terms of summoning witnesses. and The counsel of the community, Dr. Anthony Kafumbe, tried to warn members about the implication of directly mentioning names but his plea fell to deaf ears. I know that a number of staff who, are, who have since left the service of the community were not invited. There are many people are being mentioned and they are not even here. Then suddenly they will hear they are responsible for things which they are not even responsible for. So I think we, we should avoid mentioning names because it offends what we already have as protection for Clarification. staff. And uh, I wouldn't want to contemplate what will happen once you, you pursue this unprecedented move. Clar the letter was written to the Secretariat indicating all the people that are supposed to appear, not once, not twice. We met Secretariat and one time actually they even staged a walkout on the committee because they did not want the press to be there when we were meeting them. So this house is not threatening anybody, is not abusing anybody is not perpetrating violence against anybody, is not insulting anybody. The lawmakers of the East African community have exposed the corrupt and those mismanaging fans of the East African community and have vowed not to give a blind eye to the corrupt in the community. Jingo Francis, NTV, Arusha, 